children hope you all are fine and safe i am angelin teacher from st jude's parish i hope you all have submitted the previous class activity to your catechism teacher surely you have all had a lovely week and a great parents day also i am sure your parents loved the cards you made for them okay children i am sure you all love comic stories like tenali raman champak chacha choudhury and your most favorite tinker also you might be aware of these stories that is akbar and birbal stories you all love akbar and birbal stories due to birbal's wisdom and akbar's right judgment let me tell you one of their stories the reward in emperor akbar's kingdom to meet akbar The guards at the gate used to charge 5 gold coins from the visitors. If they refused to pay, they were taken to the head guard. And even he said to the visitors that the system works like this only. You have to compulsory pay 5 gold coins to enter the kingdom. The visitor explains his problem to Birbal. So let us see how Birbal solves this problem through his wisdom. Excuse me sir, I am here to meet the great emperor Akbar. So is everybody else here old man before you go inside you have to pay me 5 gold coins 5 gold coins I'm a poor man sir I don't even have the money to buy food how can I give you such a big amount If you don't have any money old man then stop wasting my time and leave right now please help me sir I'm a poor man can I pay your charges later Oh let me take you to the head guard and see what he has to say man you must pay up if you want to meet the emperor that is the system we follow here but i don't have any money sir then stop wasting our time old man there are hundreds of people waiting to meet the emperor i have a suggestion the emperor will surely be happy with my compositions and reward me i will share half of that reward with you will that do mm, half of the reward is it that seems fine guards let him meet the emperor make sure that he shares half of his reward with us thank you sir you are very kind Greetings your majesty I come from the land of Rajasthan with songs specially composed in your majesty's honor Welcome Ramdev ji हर राम रमई 
Ramdev ji that was a beautiful rendition i'm very pleased tell me what reward would you like thank you your majesty i request you to reward me with 100 whip lashes huh? Huh? 100 whip lashes why do you want to get whip man i want to reward you with gold coins jewelry and you are asking for a 100 whip lashes very strange are you sure that's what you want ramdev ji i'm very sure your majesty all right then if you so insist God grant Ram Dev ji his wish Wait I would first like to call the person whom I have promised to share the reward with Share the reward what are you saying Your majesty allow me to explain since I couldn't pay 5 gold coins to the head guard as charges for meeting you I promised the head guard to share half of my reward with him Summon the head guard Greetings, Your Majesty. How dare you cheat the people of my kingdom like this? Guards, throw this man into the dungeon and let him starve to death. As for the rest of the guards who have been part of the system, I banish them from my kingdom. Thank you, Your Majesty. Birbal, you may remove your disguise now. That was indeed a good way of teaching these cheats a lesson. I knew it had to be you. Bravo! Very well done. Thank you, Your Majesty. So, children, do you think that a judge ought to be an honest man? Always. on the side of a innocent people yes but sometimes we find judges who happen to be partial and dishonest instead of giving justice to the poor people they take the side of the rich who cheat the poor today i will tell you another story which jesus taught us in the form of parable Every Jewish town has its law court. Rules for the court were carefully worked out. But it was of no use if the judge was not a good man. The rich man would always get his case heard quickly. by giving bribes compared to the poor man's plea you know what is bribe children giving money or gift to do the work and get judgment in his favor it was even more difficult for a widow without a husband to provide for herself justice without money to bribe any rich man would have cheated her and also win the case through bribe jesus told his disciples the following parable in a town there was an unjust judge and there was a poor widow who used to come to him She was being cheated by a rich man. She had no money to bribe the judge, but she had to get justice for herself. Her only hope was to be persistent, means continuously following up. Every day she would go to the court. she used to plead to the judge 
help me against my opponent but the judge refused to act she still never stopped but persistently continued going to him and pleading for justice due to her continuous persistency the judge said to himself even though i don't fear god or respect man yet because of all the trouble this woman is giving me i will see to it that she gets her rights if i don't she will keep on coming and finally break me finally the judge heard her plea and provided her justice due to her persistent nature and jesus continued if the bad judge could have pity on the poor widow who kept coming every day to ask for help so also will god who is so good have pity on us and help us in all our needs so children now can you tell me what is the name of this lesson right the widow and the judge now let's watch a quick recap of what we have learned In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor had respect for people. In that city there was a widow who kept coming to him and saying, "Grant me justice against my opponent." For a while he refused, but later he said to himself, "Though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will grant her justice so that she may not wear me out." by continually coming listen to what the unjust judge says and will not god grant justice to his chosen ones who cry to him day and night will he delay long in helping them i tell you he will quickly grant justice to them and yet when the son of man comes will he find faith on earth jesus a good teacher tells us that our god is full of compassion and is concerned about those who suffer he will hear their cry and send help quickly we often see people suffering and don't know how to help them we can help them by following jesus teaching of mercy and compassion when you ask your mummy or daddy to buy something like a doll a kite a teddy bear etc i'm sure they did not buy these things immediately instead you had to remind them often to buy your favorite things in order to remind them you must have said daddy I have got 10 out of 10 in the spelling test. So please buy for me my favorite things. I will show you the shop. When they refuse to give you your favorite things that you wished, you might have felt angry. 
but still kept asking for it. And your parents might have told you the reason of not buying the things you wished. And when your parents on insisting give you your favorite things, that is because our parents love us, care for us, like to make us happy as much as possible. Our God who loves us and cares for us and likes to see us happy. Children, we will now listen to the word of God. So kindly sit straight, close your eyes, keep your palms open on your lap, take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verses 7 to 8a. Now, will God not judge in favor of his own people who cry to him day and night for help? Will he be slow to help them? I tell you, he will judge in their favor and do it quickly. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Open your eyes children and kindly note the following question and reflect. Is God a good judge? Does he listen to our cry to him? Does he like his children to come to him with their needs? Will he help us quickly? Now close your eyes, join your hands and in our hearts say thank you to our loving God. Would you like to ask him anything special for yourself, your family and friends? Come let us thank our loving God by singing the hymn, Thank You Jesus. Thank you, thank you Jesus, thank you, thank you Jesus, thank you, thank you Jesus from my heart. Thank you, thank you Jesus, thank you, thank you Jesus, thank you, thank you Jesus from my heart. Love you, love you, Jesus. Love you, love you, Jesus. Love you, love you, Jesus, from my heart. Love you, love you, Jesus. Love you, love you, Jesus. Love you, love you, Jesus, from my heart. Dear children, 
Every year, 4th of August is the feast of Saint John Marie Vianney. It is the feast of all priests. You need to write a prayer for each priest in your parish and click a picture of it and send it to your Sunday school teacher. For example, our response, Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray for, mention the priest's name, who worked so hard for us, God please guide and strengthen him to do your will. Our response, Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. Thank you, children. I hope you like the class. Have a good day.